Shut it off. Just shut it off. Put this pause button. And this is what I was worried about. Welcome to my new laundromat. This is very exciting. And we've been living in this RV for about a week. So I actually have some clothes piled up and we get to test out our new washing machine. Yes, we got the Splendid, we got the combo. So it's all in one. The washing machine is the same size as what the stackables would be and the dryer is a little bit smaller. But we went with the combo unit because we wanted to keep this side completely open and so far we are really glad that we did that because when we go boondocking we have about three weeks of clothes that build up and this will turn into like our dirty bag station and it allows us to put all of our hanging clothes over here so that when we're washing on this side we have more space to be comfortably doing laundry. Before you use it you have to run it through the clean cycle with bleach. Well, I don't have any bleach, so I'm just gonna run it through the clean cycle with a Tide Pod, and then we'll get our first load in after that, which I already measured out. This fills up the drum. It's a good amount of clothes. It's a lot of socks, boxers, underwear, towels. So that's gonna be our first wash after the cleaning wash. Power. Whites, hour and a half. Colors, an hour and 21. Regular 120, Express 1 hour. Really the difference on these is like temperature settings that you can do so you don't mess up your clothes. So it's all on one knob, washer and then dryer. And our gray tanks are open and we're hooked up to full hookup. Well, that's so. a good question. Are our tanks open? <laughs> and is our water situation? Because we don't know how much water this uh, cycle is actually take, but I think I read it's around 9 gallons per load, something like that. Three, two, one. Now we're rocking. Okay, so we're gonna let this run for an hour and 15 minutes. We'll come check on it, make sure there's no water, shampooing in our closet, and then we'll start our first real load after that. Yeah, and I think one of the perks that people like about this combo unit is it can go straight from the wash cycle to the dry cycle. And I read in order to do that, when you have your wash cycle selected, you push this um, time to dry button. <laughs> Louis has never seen a washing machine before. The dogs are gonna have a fun old time. You push this time to dry button and then I think the time to dryer kicks in right after that wash cycle. So if you are gonna be leaving the house, as long as you're not overstuffing your drum, you'll come home to not only clean, but dry clothes. And this is what I was worried about. What I came out to check right away. Oh man, it's leaking everywhere. Oh man, oh man. leaking from Ah oh. Yes, it's leaking everywhere downstairs. Do you see any water back here at all? No. Do you see anything behind there? It's completely dry back here. Okay, it's somewhere in the pipes down below is where it's leaking. Here, I gotta try to dry all this stuff off. Can I have a bunch of towels? Yeah, you can use all these. Leaks. 
So I just found it. I found it. What'd you find? The drain pipe from the washing machine, which goes this way. Behind this wall is like disconnected completely. So like it just drained out into everywhere. Completely disconnected. Oh, that's scary. I hate leaks. I don't like them. Where's all the water running? Uh, just straight down. Like it, it's right above the water heater in the furnace. So like it soaked that and then it basically just hit the ground and is kind of like leaking out through the frame. That's why it looks like it's. So it's not behind that wall at all? This wall? Yeah. Yeah, that's where it's leaking. So are you able to wipe it dry back there? Uh, it's not easy to get to. We got some, bro we got some problems. So, way back here, here's that pipe I was talking about. This black one right here. This is right above the bedroom. So I think that's the drain for the washer. Those are the hot and cold water lines for the washer. And it goes this way. This valve is, is dripping too right here. So there's a slow leak in this. And then on the other side of the wall, this is kind of hard to see. That black pipe right there, those two are supposed to be connected. We got some fixing to do. Not doing any laundry now. This is why you can't just you can't just do laundry and just walk out and leave. Like, I mean, everything needs to be run through. When you get a new RV like this, everything needs to be tested. So I guess we're actually kind of lucky here in a sense that the pipe that was leaking is right above the furnace here and it's, and it's open grate. So the water dripped down and kind of like filled up this furnace area, which then just dripped outside so it was kind of running down the frame it looked like it was everywhere and luckily it didn't go inside the rv and and into all of our storage area and cargo area but i'm sure this furnace will be fine i'm just going to dry it out with um with my little blower vacuum and get it nice and dry before using it of course but water and electronics never a good mix we get to test out this Asdol wall board. So normally, normally this is um, Luan, they call it, and it's wood, but you can see it's this composite material and it's water resistant. So, you know, perhaps a little, little incident like that could definitely ruin some of the wall boards, but with Asdol, at least we don't have to worry about that. This is why I have the access panel open because I'm just constantly, all of this stuff is new to me. So I'm constantly just looking back here, making sure things are working as they supposed to. I mean, even though we've been RVing full time for five years, this is a completely different RV. So I'm not used to this Nautilus panel. We've had leaks on the Nautilus panel um, and then underneath the sink as well as the the washing machine hookup which is all leaking and so I've been cleaning up a lot of water back here and it's a good idea to pay attention when you get a new RV or even if you have an older RV just to kind of look back here once in a while and especially if you're trying something new like the washing machine well what we thought was gonna be our first enjoyment of doing laundry turned out to be a little bit of a problem. I don't want to say I was disappointed, but my soul was a little bit crushed. Yes, it was not how we envisioned our first laundry in an RV. So this is our second RV that we have bought brand new. And as most people know, you're gonna have problems in all RVs, no matter what the price point, from the lowest to the million dollar RV. There's still going to be some things that's going to happen because they're hand constructed. They're not machine made like automobiles and they just don't have the same tolerances, you know, that you're going to see like in your car or truck. Hence the shakedown. And some people's shakedowns involve more or less than others. Some people have 
really dramatic stories and others don't really have much going on and we had a little bit of a laundry fiasco. It's now been about a month and a half since we actually bought our RV and it's super smooth now. <clears throat> you know, there's just those few couple weeks that you gotta work everything out. And we haven't talked about this a whole lot, but one of the main reasons we went with Alliance is because of how well known they are for their customer service. For sure, customer service is like what all of the owners rage about. It's, it's like a cult, this group of Alliance owners. The Alliance family is pretty special and we got to experience that service firsthand and we got taken good care of. Yeah, so Alliance is only about four years old. It's a privately owned company and we planned the purchase of the RV to coincide with going to the national rally. And if you've ever been to any brand national rally, a lot of them will do service at the rallies. And that's like, you know, some of the reasons why people love to go to these rallies. And so we knew that we were gonna uh, be able to get a little bit of service done right away. And those guys came in like a pit crew yeah, and handled a lot of the small problems that we had. And how cool is that to go to a rally and not only like get together with your crew of people and like-minded owners, but also get some things ticked off your list and to get like class A service. That was super cool experience. So in that clip, you see I have the walls down in the pass through so I can look behind the scenes of all those water connections. I mean, in a fifth wheel, there's plumbing like going everywhere. I just want to be able to keep an eye on it and make sure, you know, there's no leaks, especially in the you know first couple weeks of ownership or your first couple trips so i encourage people to peek behind the curtains a little bit and see what's going on back there because a lot of this stuff is is simple easy fixes um and if we would have i don't know if we showed this or not but if we would have tested the drain mm. pipe to the washer machine <laughs> that would have that would have been crazy it's been a couple of days since our big laundry fiasco, and we are now at the Alliance National Rally where they have an amazing service team that comes around and does things for people that like request it. And they did everything on our little punch list, including fixing our washing machine. So now we are going to test our first load again. And before we do that, we're gonna just pour some water down the drain hole to make sure that nothing leaks because Aaron had a long time cleaning up and he doesn't want to do it again, which <laughs> I can understand that. So your washing machine has a drain hose like this, which just goes into a black plastic drain in the back corner there. It might be kind of hard to see. So this just sits down in it so that the washing machine can drain. Now we're just gonna pour some water down that pipe and, and that way if there is a problem, it won't be a big problem. Let's see. The puppies are down here napping. There's about 300 alliances here at the rally. We're having a good time meeting everybody. Everybody's so kind and so nice. But again, I'm gonna be extra careful because it took so long to clean up. So I'm just gonna watch. Cause that is the corner back there that was not connected. Okay, go ahead. I can hear it. This plastic nut here was also leaking, which I've read before in the Facebook group. So I think that is uh, I don't want to say a common problem, but I've read about it. This plastic nut gets tightened too tight and then it starts to crack the plastic. Did you pour it all in there? Uh, it's almost gone? Okay. I think we're good. No leaks, so I'm gonna run back upstairs. So thankfully we haven't had any major, major problems with the RV. I can only imagine if one of our big appliances went out, especially the refrigerator. That would be horrible to uh, be living in this and not have access to cold food storage. Um, so our couple minor plumbing problems 
not a big deal. Alliance took care of us nice and quickly. So since this day we have done many loads of laundry, you're almost professional now. I am a professional combo washer dryer unit user. This, <laughs> this video was going to be about the washer and dryer and then it kind of turned into a little bit of the problem that we had. But we are going to do perhaps a video in the future? Well, we'll certainly be talking about the washer and the dryer because yes, we have lots of laundry that has been done since this and I have just been cranking out the loads. I figured out ways to maximize the capacity and i have done it while dry camping or boondocking. Yeah, sneaking in a load here or there while off grid. That's super exciting and and it's really just surreal to even be here and to say I'm doing laundry in my RV right now. Like that is just mind blowing to me. I have been using a laundromat for five years and I am so excited to no longer rely on that as like my sole thing. Like, yeah, sure. There might be some times in the future where I might pop in for who knows why I might have a good reason, but nostalgia <laughs> for normal laundering, I get to use the comfort of my home. So we just wanted to share that not everything is perfect in our brand new RV. And we wanted to say thank you to Alliance for taking care of us and getting everything fixed and getting us road ready as we are now heading on uh, our future adventures, which we're excited to share. But if you have any stories you'd like to share about your RV or repairs, problems, or funny stories, we'd love to hear them. Was that a ding? I think I need to go switch the loads back there. <laughs> Laundry's up. Ding, ding. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. What did you do to our dogs? They're like, June's sleeping in the closet. Louie is sleeping on my side of the bed. I took him on an extra long walk this morning.